Within Northumberland lies a hidden gem, Kielder. Concrete skylines are replaced by green vistas of pine. Out of the reaches of mobile signal lies the largest man-made forest in Europe and the largest reservoir in the UK. Just across the water from the dam you will find Kielder's most popular and admirable attraction, the Birds of Prey Centre. I opened the Bird of Prey Centre in 1997 with the aim obviously of education. We get several thousand visitors each year. The Bird of Prey Centre is funded solely by people visiting the centre itself. We don't receive any grants of any description. So as you can imagine, you get a bad summer, it, it just proved to be a, you know, very, very difficult. All the birds we have, as I mentioned earlier on, are bred in captivity. So all the birds we have, we have to buy. So the money that we receive from entry, school visits and so on and so forth, obviously goes, toward, goes towards purchasing another bird of prey. The centre is also home to a family of wallabies, living in harmony with a pair of fallow deer. The wallabies live on a diet of herbs and plant matter, allowing them to grow up to two feet tall. Their docile appearance is a facade. They are in fact a strong and agile member of the marsupial family. In 2011, the perimeter fence of the centre was cut, resulting in an escaped wallaby which was sighted leaping over this wall. Well anyway, this is Seema. Seema is our 10 year old female white-tailed seagull. Seema was actually bred in Russia. She was then, at the age of three months, sold to a bird of prey centre in Austria. They kept her for three years and then put her up for sale. And then obviously we got the opportunity of buying her. Like all the birds that we have at the bird of prey centre, they've all been bred in captivity. I'm sure everyone's aware it's against the law to take any bird from the wild. Exactly the same, it's against the law to take the eggs from the wild. So we buy them and we have them here for educational purposes. Seema, white-tailed seagull, fourth largest eagle in the world, but it is the largest eagle that we have in this country. Reintroduced again back into the west coast of Scotland in the early 70s. And last year they finished the release scheme on the east coast of Scotland, uh, where I believe they released 40 eagles over a five year period. And they do seem to be doing very well. They do eat a lot of fish. They will also take rabbits, they'll take hares. Unfortunately, it's no good me saying they don't do this, but they will occasionally take lambs as well. But I can virtually guarantee you if there's a live lamb or a dead lamb, which one should go for? Like any bird of prey, they'll go for the easy option, always. They're not gonna exert themselves unnecessarily, using too much energy, using too much effort. People think they love to fly, they don't. They fly to kill, to feed, to catch their food. They love to soar, they love to get into a thermal. Once they're in a thermal, stay up there all day. Once the thermal's disappeared, obviously, down they come again. Kielder Birds of Prey Centre is proof of how humanity and nature can coexist. <laughs>